We're back again to play some games. We are back with a new game I'm starting. One that everybody's been asking me for, asking me about. <laughs> and that is Ikiman Sengoku. Yep, Ikiman Sengoku. I know nothing about this one, but they're not vampires. They're like samurai, ninjas, something. War, war heroes? I don't know. Warlords? <laughs> Before we start, make sure you follow me on my social media. Like, comment, and subscribe. And we can get started, I guess. Let me uh, get a good look at this, these boys. The one in the middle is kind of cute. The one on the, the left with the red fans also kind of cute. That's music so loud. Um, let's start. Kyoto present day. This is my first vacation on my own, but you know what? I feel great. Now care in the world. I stretch my arms above my head. I was enjoying a peaceful nighttime stroll through the city. I'd kept at it, setting my portfolio out time and time again, until it finally paid off. I'd gotten my dream job. Goodbye, Matt Gray Cubicle. In a few days, I'll finally be a fashion designer. Hey. And this is my reward. I'm going to get all the parting out of my system so I can focus on my new career. Walking with a spring in my step, I pulled a guidebook out of my purse. I traveled this guide to the hottest, to Japan's hottest warlords. I bought it because the tile made me smile. Okay, okay, okay. They kind of cute. Kyoto is a hub of historical activities, and this book promised information on the on some good sightseeing spots. I flicked through the pages, stopped when my eye fell on a familiar name. Ikki Tosen, Sanada Yukimura. Sanada Yukimura. The perilous, the perilous warrior. Hmm. Based, based on appearances, not personality. <laughs> First impressions. Uh, six out of ten. Don't hate me. I don't know them yet. I'm just. Don't hate me. <laughs> six out of ten. I've heard of this guy. He was famous for. No, can't remember. I always crammed for Japanese history last. Sally, it showed in my last results. We gonna Google some of these characters in the future just to see what they're really about. <laughs> because we found some very interesting real life facts about Leonardo da Vinci and Ikiman Vampire. The one-eyed dragon, Masamune Date. Mm. 8 out of 10. I'm more familiar with this one. There's a bun There's been a bunch of historical dramas made up about him. The One Night Dragon. I love that name. And the eye patch is pretty sweet too. Too bad he's not from Kyoto. Let's see. Where's the closest famous place I can visit? Here's one. A stone monument to the Han Hanoji at the temple's original location. Oda Nobunaga. Oda Nobunaga. Double King of the Sixth Heaven. Mm. 9 out of 10. Opposite of the map, to the site was a page dedicated to the most famous man tied to that location. Nobunaga Oda is definitely someone I remember. He almost unif un unified all of, all of Japan under his rule. In the year 1582, portrayed by Mitsuhide Akachi, Akachi, Nobunaga committed suicide amongst the fiery wreckage of Honji, Honoji. Or as I remember it, in 1582, Nobunaga's ambitious burn to a coup. In a coup. Amused, I could still remember that old 
I don't know that word. I followed the map to the place where Hanoji once stood. Why am I doing this at night time? Can I- Can we do this in the morning? This is it. A simple, somber monument. And pretty small, too. I wonder if Nobunaga would be disappointed. I just stood and looked at the monument. A man came up to the monument, too. He was wearing a lab coat in public, making him immediately stand out. Standing silently beside me, his eyes were fixed on the stone. <laughs> Awkward. He looked too young to be a doctor, probably a medical school student, and what serious expression he's got. He was more intrigued than the monument. I couldn't help looking. Just then, a drop of rain fell on my nose. Raised my head to the sky, I noticed the dark gray clouds and sheets over my head. Oh no. The clouds suddenly broke, and tiny drops gave way to a downpour. What poor timing. Clear skies, all day and all night. It's stupid. Stupid weather report. Clear skies all day and night, it said. Stupid weather report. Are you alright? Do you have an umbrella? I do. Was back in my hotel. Then I don't. Why do you say I do? <laughs> anyway, I look up into the man's eyes when, huh? Ah! A bolt of lightning touched down in front of us, shattering the, shattering the stone in Monument Dang. That couldn't have just happened. I've never seen lightning that close before. Be careful, miss. Huh? He offered me his hand. Just then, there was, a loud, there was a loud crash and everything appeared to bend and warp into the darkness. I felt dizzy and instinctively squeezed my eyes shut. What's happening? Oh man, I'm in the middle of a war. <laughs> what in the world? A man dressed in a suit, ancient Japanese armor lay asleep on the floor. A man dressed in a suit of ancient... Japanese armor lay asleep on the floor. Another man, holding some kind of walking stick, approached the sleeping man. That's not a walking stick, it's a sword! Sparks from the flaming paper walls illuminated the sharp edge of the raised metal blade. Hey you, look out! I cried at the armored man. The man with the sword grew still. I crouched behind the unconscious man and shook him urgently. He finally awoke, eyelids lifting lazily. Hey, that's a. Uh... Masamune. Nobunaga. That's Nobunaga. Who are you? No time for introductions. Come on, let's get you out of here. There's a building on fire, and a man was about to kill you. We need to get out of here now. Take my hand. He took my hand in his powerful one. I held tight and hauled him to his feet. Look at him, I'm saving him. I wasn't sure who he was. But I did I'm sorry. Didn't I not see a picture of him? Did my character not see a picture of him? Anyway. I wasn't sure who he was, but I didn't want to see anyone hurt. Or worse. He ran we ran for our lives to the fire. Backing away from the spreading flames, a man with youthful features watched the two run, his eyes wide. Ooh. <laughs> Why did he appear on my screen? <laughs> like that. <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> he appeared face first. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I couldn't do it. The crack of the fire devoured his tearful apology. Then he too ran out of the temple. I'm amazed we made it out, but somehow we did. Dang. What is on fire? The building behind us, which seemed to be a temple, was being engulfed by the uncontrollable flames. I have to be dreaming, right? Someone tried to do away with me while I slept. Audacious, but foolish. Killing my guards and getting that close to me is another matter. You there, woman, let go of me. Don't talk to me like that. Oh, sorry. 
I let go and put my hand back. The man I rescued looked over at me thoughtfully. You saved my life. You may be some girl the monk snuck in for amusement, but I owe you my thanks. Nope. Not me. Wrong girl. Not me. Really? I must have missed all the amused monks in the mass of fire we just escaped. I don't know how I got in there. Who exactly who exactly have I just saved? No Bernaga. We just talked about it. We saw the magazine. He was just like a star in a samurai drama. And spoke like one too. His eyes were proud and brutal. But I could tell by the materi materials that his clothes were authentic. An authentic. As authentic as a sword hanging. As authentic as the sword hanging on his belt. What are you staring at? Surely you know who I am. Uh, I really don't. You say me without knowing who I am. I'm not expecting a reward or favor. So be it. I shall tell you my name. I'm the man who will rule under the sun. Actually, you don't need to tell me. What? I don't know what to say. I get the feeling whatever you're gonna say, I'm not gonna like it. You're a curious one, woman. No one's ever spoke so impudently. <laughs> Appudently to me before. Appendently to me. Before, whatever. Let's forget that word. He let out a loud, amused laugh that echoed far into the night. I don't like the way he stands. <laughs> he stands like he's looking down at me all the time. I don't like that. Stop leaning back. I'm sorry. Is anything that's happening right now funny? And wow, that wicked smile could kill a kid. You can trade me, which is almost as worthy of a praise as saving my life. I am the lord of Azuchi Castle, and Daimyo Dai Dai of Awari, Awari. Nobunaga, Nobunaga Oda. Gosh. Oda Nobunaga. Oda Nobunaga. Devil King of the Sixth Heaven. Nobunaga Oda. He just said his name was Nobunaga, Nobunaga Oda. My mouth hanging open in shock. I turned towards the gate of the burning temple. The sign on the gate was engraved with the unmistakable name Hanoji. Pardon me for asking something strange, but what year is it? It is 1582. Why? In the year 1582, portrayed by. Ah, nah! I gotta stop his suicide. I gotta be dreaming this. Moving mechanically, I raised my hand to my cheek and pinched it hard. Mm -hmm. Okay, that hurt. There goes the dream theory. What does that mean? I really went back in time? To the night Nob Nobunaga died? What are you pinching yourself for? I'm giving you my name. It's your turn. Hey, a self book. The self proclaimed Nobunaga took a full step forward and took my chin in his hand, forcing me to look me him in the eyes. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Give me your name. Girl, I mean boy, my name is Lauren. Lauren then. A good name. Glad you approve. Now let go of me. I brush off is it's so much easier now, so I can see both the names. Do you hear that music? Ooh, who was in the studio? Lord Nobunaga, you're safe. Who's this now? A man arriving at the front of a unit of soldiers rushed towards us. My is that not the- is that that- Give me a second. <laughs> is that not the person who betrays him? Masunari, why are you here? Where's Hideyoshi? Lord Hideyoshi sent me ahead. He should be here shortly. 
A man called Matsunari. You know what? I can't. Give me a second. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Hide is the one who betrayed Nobunaga. That's not the one. It's Mitsu Mitsuhide, the one that betrays. Okay. <laughs> Lauren, present yourself to my subordinate. Nobunaga indicated Matsunari with a nod and waited. I glanced sideways at Nobunaga. He's got a major attitude. I don't care if he almost united the country or what. Uh, I mean... You know, I'm kind of brave. And I would love to say that too, but like, he's, he's got a sword. I'm sorry, did I miss the part where I became your subordinate too? I don't have to follow your orders. Then you're choosing to disobey me. His glare was as sharp as a knife. And I felt my body grow 10 degrees cooler. Yikes. Okay, he is intimidating. Please, this is on me. It was rude of me not to introduce myself first. My main... My name is Mitsunari. My name is Mitsunari Ishida. I serve at the side of Lord Hideyoshi. Lord Nobunaga's right hand man. Pretty boy. The resourcefulness tactician. The resourceful tactician. <laughs> Mitsunari Ishida. I don't know who she is, but she woke me up and saw, and saw me to safety. She did? I can't thank you enough for prote protecting our lord's life. Oh, I just did, with, did it without thinking. But what brought you here tonight? You don't appear to be a nun. And your dress is unusual. Are you from abroad? Actually, I'm from a different time than yours altogether. What? I'm sure it's going to sound implausible, but I might as well get everything out in the open. I came from 500 years in the future. They stared at me in shock and the disbelief. Hey, pull out your phone. You got a phone. Usually that always works. Like in, uh... ReZero, when he goes to a different world, he pulls out his phone, and that's like proof that he he's not from around there. Uh, they stare at me in shock and then disbelief. She's a storyteller too, although I've never heard such an obscure tale. Obscure tale. You poor thing. The smoke from the fire was very or disorienting, I'm sure. Really? None of them are even considering it? I guess I'd have trouble believing it too. I really am from the future though. Sit down over here and get some fresh air. Someone will bring you a change of clothes. Hmm. I didn't even notice, but it's true. My clothes are a wreck. My shirt was stained to the elbows with suit, and the hem of my skirt was burnt through in, burnt through in spots. Once you're freshened up, you'll feel much better. Thank you. While I took a quick bow, Ms. Mitsunari took my hand in his, holding them until Soka came up with a bundle. Ooh. Why did these, these boys be up in my face? <laughs> now, let's get you into these, shall we, Lady Lauren? Anyway. I'm gonna stop right there. <laughs> because... That's a lot. <laughs> so we are back in time once again. <laughs> but this time we are surrounded by warlords. That's dangerous. And they have swords. We met Nobunaga. We stopped his uh, suicide, I guess, maybe. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna meet the guy who betrays him. We met the pretty boy, the tactician, I forgot his name already. Matsu, Matsu, Matsu Nari. Something like that. And yeah. Cute. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow with A3. Which you should watch because it's getting good. The boys are getting ready to put on their first play. And we've been working very hard. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.